Benson here from Modus Institute and the Collaboration Equation. And I'm talking today about problems festering. And this is part of our Live Well, Work Well series. And this is part of uh, the Collaboration Equation, frankly. So the book here, Collaboration Equation, uh, we believe, and this is the equation, that individuals in teams create value. And so in when we're working, what should be happening is individuals in our teams, the professionals that we're working with, should be seeing the complexity, right? Uh, they should be working with their teams to immediately respond to that problem or that opportunity or that thing that could help us or if we don't let it help us, can hurt us in the future. So our teams respond to it and then we get value, which is solving that complexity. So in our Lean Agile Visual Management certification, this is what we talk about a lot, is it's not just problem solving, it's dealing with weird. It's dealing with um, issues in the office that you weren't expecting. And you can open the news, any news outlet now, and you'll find a million ways <laughs> that, that managers suddenly have to deal with, like, crazy person buying your company and firing everybody unexpectedly or teddy bears in bondage or any number of absolutely nutty things that you would never think, oh, I should go learn to deal with that. But these are problems and they're real problems. In, in our working together, Tony Ann and I have had to deal with people bringing guns to the office. Uh, people on teams who are very expect, uh, respected being arrested for very not respectable things. Um, you know, servers going down, blah, 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 blah. That's kind of the easy stuff. But work is really about the weird. You know, if we're a leader, if we're a manager, we have to deal with this. And the way that things happen now is the problem arises. And then people are like, I'm too busy to deal with that. And then the problem fervently festers. <laughs> so the problem sitting there going, oh, you're ignoring me. And I really, really hate to be ignored. And so I'll get worse and worse and worse and worse. And as we ignore these fervently festering problems, they fervently fester further. <laughs> uh, they alliterate like crazy. And we're all of a sudden in a situation now where we've got these huge problems. And we've never actually been trained on how to deal with them. We've just been trained on how to blame people or do agile or write an A3 or do these things, but not like really, you know, deal with the problem. So, so agile tends to wait, you know, they'll do retrospectives or we'll do retrospectives, which are great. Don't stop doing retrospectives. That's not what I'm saying. But what happens when you wait to deal with problems is they collect. And we've all been in retrospectives where you collect all those problems up, you commit to a few of them, but the problems still fester. They don't go away because it's actually nobody's job to solve those problems or do that work. It's just your job to go to the retrospective and say you're gonna do it. But when you get back and you have your scrum board or your Kanban set up, some manager somewhere is gonna say, I want you to deliver new value <laughs> rather than I want you to solve this problem. So then we build this huge portfolio of festering problems that later on become status quo. They become like how work is done. And then we have all these workarounds to get around these festering problems that we should have served uh, initially. So lean doesn't wait, it acts immediately, which is a good thing. And so if you're on the line, it does Kaizen, which are little tiny improvements, or you do Kaizen events or other things to deal with Kaikaku, which is like bigger, bigger change, uh, more substantive change. But either way, uh, while you're solving the problems, <laughs> it's just, you know, pivots, just another word for nothing left to lose. So, you know, pivoting is a good thing. So you've learned something and you pivot, but you actually need to have a plan that you're relating back to. And the language of lean gives us something to deal with, as does the language of Mick Jagger. So Mick Jagger said that you can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you just might find that you get what you need, because this is apparently the all 1960s rock video at the moment. So, so here we have plan, do, study, adjust. The Deming Schuert loop, but I've renamed it the Deming Jagger loop here. Uh, and here's what happens. A problem comes along 
and it is going to interfere with our plans. And if we're honest, we recognize that none of our plans go the way that we expect them to, which isn't to say to stop planning or to stop estimating or to you know stop you know, responsible business practices. But what it is to say is that as we go forward, we need to learn. We need to learn quickly. And especially if we're doing, if we have a thing like a teddy bear in bondage suddenly destroying our entire brand, or we have you know people bringing guns to the office, or we have uh, discrimination lawsuits, or what what have you. We have a flood. You know, some crazy thing happens. So we set up our plan. There's our plan. P is plan. Plan. There we got it. Um, and plans guide what problems you solve and when. Because I guarantee you, because you live on the same planet I do, that there are an infinite number of problems to solve. <laughs> so we have to be able to actually know what to solve. So we've got our plan, which gives us kind of goals, objectives, OKRs, metrics, whatever we're aiming for, right? And so we're going to solve problems that help us achieve our plan or or drive us in another direction. So they're either in support of our goal or in opposition to our goal, but um, we're in this want, try, find, need loop now. So here, this is what we want. We've got our plan, it's what we want, and a problem comes along and we need to solve it what happens next? So how do we even discover the problem? Well, we're doing. So we're trying. <laughs> we're trying, trying, trying something. We're doing. And then we find that we're doing the work in support of our plan. And we're seeing what happens. And here we're being honest. There's a problem here. There's an opportunity here. There's an unexpected event here. There's a learning here that is going to guide what we're doing. When we are being honest about work, not when we're reviewing statistics, but when we're being honest about our actual work, that's when we just might find something. So we're studying, we're studying while, you, while we work, dee, 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 dee. and while we're working, we're learning, and we're allowing those small or large problems to be recognized and acted on totally pragmatic, not formulaic, because the problem is arising as we're working. We're not waiting like in Agile, and we are responding according to the complexity of the problem, which is a step up from traditional Lean. We're still going to use the Agile toolkits. We're still going to use the Lean toolkits, but we're recognizing that we've made a plan and that plan is going to, or that plan is going to run into reality. And when that plan hits reality, we have to react quickly and effectively in order for people not to get discouraged on the team, in order for people not to suddenly have learned helplessness and wait for other people to solve their problems for them, or to let things fester. And the longer they fester, the more likely they are to continue to fester. So we will find that we get what we need. So the Jagger loop is all about honesty. <laughs> you know what you want, you try something, you look at it, and then you figure out how to get what you actually needed in the first place, which always differs from your plan, but isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. So we adjust, plan, do, study, adjust, want, try, find, need. Regardless of how you want to sing it or who your hero might be, whether it's Deming or whether it's Jagger, um, we get better. We, uh, we, we, uh, we don't get what we originally planned for, but we do get all right. <laughs> so both in the book Collaboration Equation and at Modus Institute, this is the stuff that we deal with. <laughs> real people working on real problems. We figure out how to get our standard work for the work that we're doing, right? <laughs> which, which we all want, we all, we all need. <laughs> uh, but we also learn how to react to real complications. Not just like what happens if our code breaks. Not just hap what happens if you know, our client doesn't like the food that we served them. 
But what happens when the real weird happens? The, the fights between stakeholders, the fights between people on our teams, people of good conscience who are there trying to do a good job, who disagree on what we're supposed to do. Why is that happening? Why are they becoming angry enough to, uh, to nearly become violent? Uh, why are they quitting en masse? Why, why are all these things happening? What do we need to do to solve real problems at the office? Uh, so that's today's little speech. That's the Deming Jagger Loop. Uh, come join us at Modus Institute. We would love to have you there and to join the community and join this ongoing conversation. Thank you.